Well, good morning. This morning, our scripture's found in James chapter 3, beginning in verse 11, and it goes like this. Doth a fountain send forth at the same place sweet water and bitter? Can the fig tree, my brethren, bear olive bearings, or either a vine figs? So can no fountain both yield salt water and fresh water. Then we go to James 3 and 5, and it tells us, Even so, the tongue is a little, a little member, and boasts great things. Behold, how great a matter a little fire kindleth. The tongue. Talk about that unruly thing in your mouth. It has no bones, but it's just like a sword, a two-edged sword. You know, it's vile. And you can't tame the tongue. James uh, 3 and 8 tells us, But the tongue can no man tame. It's an unruly evil full of d deadly poison. Deadly poison. That thing that flops around in your mouth. Yep. You know, it's probably, I, I would say for sure, that it is hurt or wounded, badly wounded, more people than any weapon of war could. Yeah. Because, you know, it, it's, it's corrupt. It has a mind of its own, and uh, it just corrupts the whole body. Uh, James 3 and 6 says, And the tongue is a fire, a worldly of iniquity. So it is the tongue among members that it defileth the whole body, and setteth on fire the course of nature, and is set on fire of hell. Folks, I've seen this over the years. Many people that call themselves Christians that they cannot control their tongue. No, they don't care what comes out of their mouth when they're angry. When they're upset, they spew venom. And they have hurt a lot of people. There's a lot of people that's been injured so bad they won't return to church. They've turned their back on God on account of, you know, whoever that calls himself a Christian that doesn't take care of their tongue. It, it's piercing uh, and killing the spirit of those that the venom, the venom intended. As leaders, uh, we must all rise above the old sinful man by bridling his or her tongue. Now we find over in Peter, First Peter 3 and 10, for he that will love life and see good days. Let him refrain the tongue from evil and his lips from speak, speaking no guile. And uh, so, folks, we have to be so careful. Careful. Well, I know we get angry, and before we know it, it just bubbles out of our mouth, but we need to be cautious of how we use our words and how we direct our words because we can kill people, break their hearts, break their spirits. And we're supposed to bridle that tongue. That's what the Bible tells us. Well, I hope and pray that this helps someone. Don't go be spewing venom out of your mouth control that tongue you might lead others to Christ if you do may God richly bless you I love you but better yet Jesus loves you
Yep, he died on the cross for us. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye now.